the word vitrification, vitrification of rock, which still floats around in the megalithic community. Lately, it's melting. Everything's been melted. And I've been saying that everything's either solidified, calcified, or mineralized. These people, including the megalithic scene, seem to ignore simple truths like what we're looking at here with this underground cave. It's mineralization. Stalactite. What do you think stalactites are? Is that melted rock? No. So we're going to look at a couple of images that I had in that last video, like this one here. This staircase from nowhere. You walk out into this field. There's an excavation site and there's just case going to nowhere. Now, they're obviously calling this cut rock. Well, a closer look at this, you can tell that this is basically concrete slurry. It's solidified concrete. Now, for those people that think that this is cut stone, well, so you're thinking that they've just dug a hole in the ground and then placed cut stone from somewhere but it's resting against nothing. Yeah, so you're saying that it's just got dirt or sand behind it. So how is it staying in place? Obviously there's another, all the rest of the structure is behind this thing. I'm going to zoom in on quite a few areas on this to confirm what we're talking about. The main thing what I'm pointing out here is if you look where I've placed the arrows. Personally, I think it's been smeared over into some type of framing if you look how thin it is where I'm pointing in the top right we'll take a closer look at this side here it's the same thing I've just shown you well what I mean by into a framework if you look here it's it's a metal framing that crosses that zigzags over each other right? and then you pour your concrete slurry into it as it's hardening you put your rebar which is the, is the holes and then you're able to build on top of it right it's like a foundation or a wall that you can keep building up on and if you look at this one here this is also ancient that the megalithic crew always show if you look on the left you can see the crisscross pattern on this one Right, and if it would have been in a different condition, it would have eroded away down the centre. Which is, you see this so much at these sites, I will probably make a video just showing you how much that you see that. So back onto this site here. Which to me has to be the same. Um, we're looking in the same place, the same shapes. And more than that, if you look at the surrounding area, it is the same material as what the supposed cut blocks are made from. So we are indeed looking at solidification of the rest of the site. And that's proven from, if you look at the top right hand image of this, which is all solidified into a big lump over what they call cut blocks from some quarry somewhere. What I've pointed out or circled in the bottom there, if you've not got a large screen, a TV, a laptop, you will not be able to see what I'm pointing out there. It's some sort of... I don't know, it's like it's calcified, mineralized, some type of boxing. I don't really know what it is. If you're on a phone, you won't see it. But this image here, again, you'll have to be on a large screen. It looks like some type of, let's say, iron plating with two bolt holes in it. I can't see more than that if you're only on a phone. So we're going to start looking at a few of these sites here. There's a few of them. And it's the same here. If you look down the side of the staircase, you see the same shapes as what I've just been showing you. Now, why are they shaped like that? If they were cut, then why cut them in that shape? Because when they're cut in that shape, just to jam them into the sand, or was this smeared into some type of framing, which is what I've just suggested. I know that archaeologists have since been here and reconstructed some of this, which is what I'm going to show you next. Uh, 
when you look at the size of this staircase there's one that i show where there's two women that's walking back out of this thing and it's huge as always archaeologists have been here and rebuilt it in the fashion that they thought history went down and just pieced things together this is the most interesting area I suppose and if you look on the left hand side I don't know what to make out of these prongs some people would call them nubs but if you look on the left it does indeed look like some type of covering uh, plating what it was originally made out of and it's since calcified maybe I don't know but if you look at it it looks like some type of plating or smothering this image shows it better and I will just show you a few images from this site and some aerial photos 